Lord help me, Lord. <laughs> Hello, cut your phone down in the back. This is Miss Nicole Tyler. Nicole, can you hear me? Yes, I can. This is James Caldwell. What in the world are you calling? Hey, James, this is James Caldwell, y'all. Can you? I certainly is. <laughs> and I just want to give you, down. you know, you and I don't always see how to have it. I'm going to go on and I'm going to talk to you and tell you what actually happened. Okay, okay, tell me what happened, James. Did you already did you hear my answer that you were deflecting? Yeah, I did, and that's why I, that's why I called you. Okay. I deflecting. The first thing I'm going to say is the the situation with me and Father has gone on and gone to such a level that I don't need an excuse to do anything. I can reach for her mother her siblings, her child, and whoever else I decide to reach for at this point. Okay. I don't need an excuse to do any of that. We have spoken about my dear grandmother, my mother, and my children. And I said that in that video today. I didn't need to deflect, and I didn't say that I was saying things about the situation because of what was said today. I spoke about the situation today because this is the fifth or sixth um, that five babe has brought up my children. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. So, and her thing of being whether I'm a good parent or not a good parent is always about where my children are going. This kind of thing. I said nothing derogatory about Leah whatsoever. What I stated was you keep putting my parenting against your parenting because I chose to move my children out of the house. <clears throat> and I had my reasons for doing it. I made those decisions as a parent. First of all, my children were never removed from me. There had never been a child removed from me. So that's a lie. That's a lie. None of my children were removed from me. Okay? So that's, that's one thing. And you keep pushing this narrative. Keep pushing this narrative. And my whole thing was, how is it that you're the, the, the parent of the year, <laughs> oh and God! Like, I'm a bad parent, but your child got touched up underneath your parents. You? <laughs> oh God! Hold on, y'all. And I don't think that it was. I don't think that that was any worse than what she's been running around saying about me. She's literally got on her platform and told these people that I beat my children to the point that the law came in and took my children, and that is a complete lie. That is a complete lie. <laughs> You you so don't want. I'm not, okay, I was going to ask you. You don't want to answer any questions, do you? <laughs> oh yes, I will answer. I'll answer a question. That's you, why I called you. Yeah, you've been watching. We don't have to agree. We can have a dialogue. You've been watching Car Chronicles, have you? Have you? Have you not? I watch. You know I watch. Okay. You know I watch. <laughs> you, well, you know my questions. Let me ask you a question, okay? <laughs> All right, now. Now, you can say, no, I don't want to answer. What? Because you know I roast and gagged you on your children and everything based on what you said and you know how we do. We exaggerate when we roast and gag, okay? We'll take the truth, you all, and we exaggerate it, okay? Now, what actually, you don't have to go into a lot of details, but what happened? Did you, just tell me what happened. Did the kids, just what happened? I got sick. I got sick, and when I got sick, I made a, a decision. I, when I did chemo, I did chemo 96 hours at a time. I was in the hospital from Tuesday till Sunday. I am a single parent. There was other stuff already going on, but I made a conscious decision to put my kids where they could get 24-hour care like what they were used to having. That was all. It wasn't nothing deep, all like that. It wasn't. We're, we're talking about, they come up stuff about a book. The book was written in 2013. The kids, nobody left until 2015. But why did it, did, didn't you say something about the children reported you for child abuse or something? Or the, the, that, was, that actually happened with my oldest one. That had happened years ago. But that, he never got removed from the house. He didn't get removed. The state has never removed a child from my home. Okay. Was he trying to... 
I don't want to be too. I don't want to be too uh, personal. No, 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 I mean, come on, because we've done this. Like, I mean, because. You know, but what? Well, why did he say these well, things about you, James? Well, kids do that. Anybody who's done anything with the foster system, you know that there are kids that aren't even foster will say that their parents beat them and stuff like that. Kids do that kind of stuff. And I went through investigation. And it was found unfounded. And come on, you work with the system. You know how that works. It yeah, wasn't I was just a crazy a, kid. I went through a three-day investigation. My children never left my house. They were here for the whole investigation. Okay. It was, it, and that was what it was. And I went right on back to work, where I was working. And I ran a damn daycare, and they called, uh, Nicole, come on. Okay, no, I well, I did not know all of that. You know, I couldn't work with any of that stuff on my record. Well, no, what I'm, but you know, I roasted and gagged you on it so much that it does, that stuff can seem and sound believable, but it's good that you called in to clear it up. But let me, but let me say this, you know, I say that you were deflecting. Um, Are you, are, do you plan on talking to Sean about if he did tell Tracy or if he did tell April? Um, your business? So I, I don't even need to talk to John. See, I know where the information came from. That's why I just laughed. The whole thing was told on Sean when D. Ramsey sat her fat ass up on there and said, I got your book. I read your book. She looked like a damn fool. Because nothing about none of that is in that book. That book was written in 2013. What she was talking about happened in 2015. Yeah, so you already knew where it where. So I knew automatically exactly where everything came from. It came from Sean Bradley. Wow. Well, and, how... it all, and people keep talking. It, it's, all, it's all there. And then I don't know where the narrative that I molested somebody came from. That's like totally crazy. Do you do you feel vindicated because of what what has come out about Sean and the doxing alleged doxing or doxing scandal? Well, naturally, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that are coming out, and and it's you know people are coming back and saying, "Damn, James, you said that." Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to keep arguing with people back and forth. It is what it is. I know Sean. I know what Sean is capable of. So I don't have time to sit around making up stories about anybody. And I'm going to give you a prime example. Sean had you on a, a, a hamster wheel running around <laughs> trying to find somebody that I had that was in my, you know, my group that was a dancer that I supposedly touched. Okay, yeah. Sean Bradley knew all along that that LJ person is nobody that I know. Sean Bradley knew all along that my child that is in that was part of my house group, his name was Martel, and he has traveled all over the world as a professional dancer. I did an interview on him. Um, he's up on air where I did the interview on him. Sean Bradley knew all along that LJ person was not the person that I sat and watched the video where he said, now there was a child that was a dancer in his house. Sean knew, I knew exactly what Sean was doing. And I just sat back because all of what's going on now with Onsite April and Mimi and Harley Q, uh, Harley Q and Rick, I knew all of this was going to come. I didn't know it was going to come this soon. But you, but, but you know that, you know, I just had a random live just like I did tonight. And that person, they just called and said all those things. I didn't set anything up. They just called me. Like, so much things to have popped up randomly, but she didn't. It wasn't random. Yeah, but I didn't. It was random, but it was random to me is what I'm saying. I just, exactly. I just had, you see what I'm saying? So, so you well, said. I didn't come and claw at you. No, no, I'm no. We're having a conversation. You know how I talk, y'all. Y'all know this yeah, how I, I be know talking. What was going on. <laughs> but I mean, it was. I was being accused of all kind of stuff. But I knew all roads lead back to Baltimore. I knew that is a hot mess. I knew that. But again, you know, it, it is what it is. You know how narratives start here. Oh so my God. Because if you look at what's going on with me and Tyve, she deleted the first video, and there's 
and like probably 500 people walking around to will swear to you that I started that whole the whole thing with Fabe because she erased the video and then she began after a week or two start saying he started with me he started with me well you didn't start it well everybody know that yeah you didn't start it with her yeah she says I started with her everybody know that's a lie <laughs> yeah you see it in my chat you started with her you started with five it's all in my chat it's all in my comments it's the bbk that whole thing she just is crazy flipping singing a whole different story so it's just part of the youtube game it is what it is but i don't feel bad about what i said tonight i said what i meant oh. i said what i meant and i was nice but it, nice. well you I know what it's a, it right. is it is a true statement james so you know i just was thinking that the way I, I heard two separate two or three separate stories of it so i just said you probably is deflecting because you probably now, need to I, talk I, to I Sean. To that woman that just called and that woman is full of shit she's full of shit and 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 ma'am i know you all the reason i don't need an excuse to say anything the, 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 when she parted her lips to call my mother a bitch and know that my mother walked through these YouTube streets and heard her, I didn't need an excuse for anything I want to say to Five Babe. And I'll say whatever I want to say and keep my foot on Five Babe's neck until my ankle gets tired. Okay. All right. Woo. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, you said it. Oh, wait. Oh, anything else you want to clear up? <laughs> Anything you know, that was it. I just, I mean, I wanted to, you get me. I just felt the need to call you and lay it in your lap. And then you can say, you know, you can believe me or don't believe me. I believe but you I because, know. because and let I me tell you, James. It's not even monetized. The video is But let me tell you, James, ever since this came out, all this doxing and everything, I feel like I don't know who doxed me all last year. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? It's questionable because I, I kept blaming VS for all that doxing on me. No. And now I feel crazy. No. I feel crazy all over again. It's like, who doxed me? Because I don't want to be blaming VS if she didn't do all of those things to me. You see what I'm saying? Because I never did anything to VS. started with me and Rick. I said that there was an email that came out. It was an email, some weird email Let me tell you. All roads lead back to my gate mouth ex friend. When okay. you let me tell you, when you said that, I was in shock. I said, why in the world we keep blaming Baltimore? I said, why do we keep blaming him for everything? Because you know, I just was just, you know, oblivious. Well, you don't know me. You don't know me. Y'all don't mm -hmm. know me the way I know him. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's why he's staying down because he knows we only have to be, we're only at the tip of where we can go. And he knows it. Oh my God, Lord. And he's already played his biggest card with me. Oh, the kids, the kids. I was never fussed about the kids. I was never trying to hide that. It was none of you all's business. Yeah, I that's don't have a channel that focuses on, on children. I don't show my children. So why do I need to come on there and tell you all what went on with me and my children? I yeah. didn't need to do that. Well, really, I never really wanted to know. It just was a roasting gag to make you mad. You know, <laughs> you know, I don't really want to know. I just be like, I, you know, you say something against me, I say something against you. And you know we have our war of words and see who's gonna win and and that's and neither one of us really win, <laughs> you know. And that's, that's the end of it. And I mean, I go, you know, I, I I walk in some of the same circles you do as far as your job is concerned. Yeah. And you know, I couldn't walk in those circles, Nicole, with any of that stuff on my record. Oh hell no. Mm -mm. And like I said, I've had two daycares, not one. Two daycares. Tracy, okay. Tracy, wait, Tracy. And two Hold. 
pledge legal adoption. You and I worked in the school. I worked in the classroom as well as the front desk. And I worked in the, the principal's office. Hold, hold on, <laughs> hold on, James. James, hold on. Let me. Oh, I was trying to do something, but it ain't do right. Oh, okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I think James might be still on too. I don't know what I'm hell I'm doing. Are we both? No, because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Hey Nicole. Hey everybody in the chat. I think James might be still on. Talking. But I think he's on the other line. Oh, quit back to him then. You can put me on hold and quit back to him. I'll be on hold. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, Lord, why, why, why don't I know what I'm doing, y'all? Why? He might not be on. Hello? Let me just cut all you. Lord, oh, ah. He said, Nicole, I got to Hello? Yeah, he me off. I'm here. Okay, okay. Just, just go. Teresa says she'll wait, so go ahead, James. Okay, no, that that was really unless you have something else. I don't want to hold up the show. You know? Yeah, I mean, you know what? To, to me, to be James, to be honest, there isn't really much I wanted to know about you for real. It's just that when we had our little beef thingy, that's what it all really was. It wasn't really no, you know, I wanted to know anything about your life. It's just that we were beefing, and anything you would say, of course. I'm a beefer. I'm a roasted gagger, so I'm gonna just gonna take it, exaggerate it, make it bad. You know, it wasn't really serious. And then since I'm hearing all this stuff about Sean and the Dachshun and behind the scenes, it's like making me question everything. So yeah, and I've seen April's question in the um in the chat, and I tried to tell April a long time ago it really wasn't anything that big it was about the block you blocked me okay and it was fine you chose the side and you blocked me and that was it it really didn't go no deeper than that april you blocked me there wasn't no real need to argue about anything you blocked me that meant you didn't want me on your channel so i was going about my business but you can't talk shit to me april and think i ain't gonna talk shit back to you that's just the way it is oh yeah you know that's the way it is april that's the way it is when all of us really but that's all. It wasn't nothing real, real big. And we're April. It ain't nothing real big. It ain't no real big fall. It was what it was. Y'all were made to believe that y'all had something on me. And it wasn't even anything that I even really cared about. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? But what made you, what made you tell the, spill your own tea? Well, because D. Ramsey came at me with it. D. Ramsey's like basically called herself threatening me with that. And I'm like, now I'm no good one. You know, you can't blast me with my tea. I already know where you got it from. And that's what I went and sat down and told the story. You think I'm going to let D. Ramsey tell what Sean told her? Not at all. Sure. That's why I oh sat down God. and told it. D. Ramsey said there was an exchange. And she said, what I will say, but she said, I'm not going to call you. She said, I'm not going to call you out of your name. But what I will say to you is that you're a shitty parent and tell us what you did with those kids. That's what she said. And that's what it was time for me to do exactly what I did. Well, let me go on and tell the story because if you think you're ever going to get to blast me with my tea and your version of it, not at all, ma'am. Mm -hmm. That's how it started. I knew from the door that Sean had been talking. When Deanna opened her mouth, I knew Sean had been talking. I knew none of these people had actually read my book at the time because none of that stuff is in that book. This is just sad. None of that's in that book. Y'all, they were set up. They were set up as pawns and put out there to attack me in his honor. I feel so bad. I feel real bad about that. You know, and that's why I told Mimi. With Mimi, Check and check. I was say, Mimi, I'm not mad with you. I understand what happened to you. I'm not mad with you. It was, listen, we playing chess. He got y'all out there. We playing chess. I know him. That is sad. I know him. Mm, that's mm, all. Mm. That's all. That is so sad. I, I, well, I want to say again, I am sorry. It, 
it's cool, Nicole. It's cool. And it, I'm just glad you know the truth that you don't. Yeah. Think crazy. Do you do you? The that don't exist. And the whole skillet thing. I won't that, ever look that, in. That was totally crazy. Yeah, that was crazy. Totally crazy. And, and we talk about bad friendship. You literally would say we, we were such good friends, but you got a woman that close to me, 20 minutes away from me, talking about threatening me with guns and stuff, and you run around telling people that I'm a bad friend of you, and you started working on this stuff with Skillet literally back in February. Me and Sean didn't fall out till summer. I know. But remember, uh, my assessment... Sense- whatever they want with it, but, but I just, nobody has to believe anything I say, because I don't really give a shit. I didn't fall all the way out with him. I walked away from him. Mm. And that's all I did. I walked away. And he was pissed. I didn't take a fight. I didn't do any of that. I just literally walked away from him. And he doesn't like that. Because at his core, he's a foster child himself. Mm, mm, mm. He does not like to be ignored. He does not like, well, y'all know. Y'all know it. This stuff is just, know. it's just, it's, it's a lot. Better than anybody. She knows he don't like to be ignored. This is a lot There's coming a lot off the heels of V.S. being locked up. Walked away from. Well, have you heard from V.S.? Hang it from her house. Haven't she been talking I to Bless and Chopper? I don't have any contact with that woman. I don't know V.S.'s email address. We don't have phone numbers to shake. I have no contact with BS at all that you all don't see. Oh, okay. I just thought that you... I've never talked to her. I've never spoken to BS outside of which we see inside of the chat where I've typed up through her chat. I literally have no link to BSCC. I don't know why people believe that, but I'm, I act with her just like I act with everybody else. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't, I don't fall out with people that ain't did that to me. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. I don't do that. I mean, that's just not my thing. I don't do that. But let me tell you, not to be going back to the kid thing. I had heard something like January or February. Hold on, Tracy. I had heard something like the beginning of last year about the kid thing. But it had came from TSCC, so I wanted to he tell them or where, where, because that's where I heard it. I heard it a, a, during that time. It was like the the very beginning of of eight of nineteen. The only people on it's on weird YouTube who knew that information was Sean and Mika. Yeah, they must have told somebody because that's that's but what I believe VS knew said, about it. It wasn't a secret. That was the funny part. This is just how when people be moving. It was never a secret. It was my reality. It was never a secret. We're talking all the way back to 2015, before I ever met any of them in person. Yeah. This was never a secret. Yeah. Mm. Oh, wow, man. But that's how it is when people think they got something on you. Like, you don't have nothing on me. I don't give a dang. <laughs> well let me let let's let Tracy call in, okay? I gotta I gotta learn how to work the phones better. <laughs> All right, no problem. You know, I'll call up in there even if we ain't good and clear that when people be lying on me. I don't like it. Okay, well thank you. Keep listening. If you want to call back in, you can. All right, and that was my whole thing when I really was calling was to tell you. Don't get on oh, that before the lady was telling me that when y'all started talking about deflecting, I was calling to tell you don't get all upset about the the, the child stuff because it ain't as deep as what they're trying to make it. I didn't say anything bad about Leah at all. I okay. Don't that. Yeah, I and you know what? You know what, James? I don't think any anyone said anything bad or negative. We were just saying, you know, better environment, you know, more protection, keep yeah. close eye on the yeah, girl. And they were like attacking. They were attacking me. You shouldn't be talking about it. You shouldn't be talking about it. Listen, you report the news. Report the news, you know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All, All right. right. Let me let Tracy in. Okay, bye. Okay.